I don't know how I managed to do it again this year, but I've been stuck in bed for the last three days. Well, I do know how I ended up here, but it's mind boggling. This is the second time in two months that I've been under the weather, y'all. And I think the weirdest thing is how I got here. I'm better now, but wow, you won't believe how we got here. But let me tell you. So here I am in the waiting room waiting to see the doctor because I cut this finger. And two days later, my dog bit me. This, this dog, this sweet little princess. Yeah. She bit me. It was an accident. But it was an accident that drew blood, so yeah, I ended up here. Of course, when you're my age, you don't go to the doctor and just get treated for what you went there for. You have to get other things too. So I had to get a tetanus shot. Which makes sense because, you know, there was a cut and a bite. And of course, you know, while you're here, you might as well get the shingles vaccine too because you're overdue for that. And why not schedule your colonoscopy? Oh, and here's some antibiotics for good measure because we wouldn't want you to get an infection. By the way, did you know they made these little finger condoms? These little sleeves to protect you? They really came in clutch. Also, this coffee was amazing. Whoever made it did an amazing job. It is a, a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso with cinnamon caramel cold foam and Caramel drizzle on top. I decided to treat myself to this lovely treat after all I had been through. Which was a good thing because everything went downhill from there. In spite of my best efforts, I pretty much figured on Friday mo morning that I was on the decline. <laughs> I could kind of tell by the way my skin was reacting and just how I felt overall that I probably was going to have to come home and maybe, you know, take a nap or sleep it off. Of course, I was being ambitious at best, but maybe more just being really naive. I say naive because I really thought that I could make it through a whole Ikea kitchen appointment and I'd be fine. <laughs> One of the things that we decided to do that is different from the model is we decided to take the space that's behind our kitchen, which would normally be the pantry and the butler's pantry, and turn it into one big space, one large prep kitchen. Some people call it a scullery or a back kitchen, but we decided to maximize the usage of that space. By adding cabinets and countertops and a sink, you now have a usable space, as well as a place to store food and extra pots and pans and appliances. As you can see here though, I'm like 20 minutes into this appointment and I'm already like declining. I'm so ready to go at this point. But the show must go on and we had the appointment and I wasn't gonna stop until I was finished. <laughs> Look at this little kitchen. So during this appointment, we had to pick out finishes and we had to come up with a layout. We had to decide what special features we wanted the whole night. Just like you would if you were actually building a full kitchen. So there are a lot of little things to think about. A lot of moving parts. Now with this addition of the back kitchen behind here, right behind this wall, what we're doing is we're creating a back kitchen space that's behind the wall of the main kitchen. I love that. Like when you have people over, that's where you hide all your dirty stuff. More and more we've been doing these back kitchens with open concept kitchen plans and people are loving them. Something like this. What do you think taller? It's 10 feet. Very pretty. I mean, we could do that, but we got to make sure that we. You like that clear or you like the absolute? Oh, wow. I like it. I like it. No one. That's cute. I need that. This one has a dishwasher, too. Yeah. I 
I mean, it doesn't have to be huge. Yeah, we don't need a full size. No, because we are. Ooh, dog ball. <laughs> we already have a. We have one in the kitchen and we're going to have one downstairs. Right. So, yeah, yeah a tiny one. I mean, this is about the size of the prep kitchen. It's a little bit bigger. It's longer. Because you have. Yeah. But. You don't need this. This, this is part. So we This is where I ended up after that appointment. And now I'm just getting up. It's Sunday afternoon and wow, I did not plan on spending the last two days like that. I couldn't do anything, you guys. I couldn't read anything. I couldn't post anything. I had such a bad headache and my arms were both hurting and I still have a knot on the right side, which is really strange because usually it's the shingle side that gives you a hard time. But for me, it was the tetanus side. Unless, of course, the nurse mixed up which shot she gave me in which arm. <laughs> in any case, I was out for the count even more so than when I had COVID. It didn't last as long as COVID, but it definitely, um, wow, threw me for a loop. And I was a little bummed about that because last week was a bit of a week as well. Um, just some family stuff that I had to attend to. And so I wasn't able to post. And now here this week, <laughs> we're in the same boat and this is how it starts, but I'm not going to let it start. So that's why I'm here now. I'm bringing you guys some content because I feel better. And I just want to share with you how I'm resetting after being sick. If you've been around here, then you probably see a pattern or you realize that one of the things that I do after I've been sick, after I've been under the weather, is I clean up. So I was already behind the power curve because of last week and some obligations that I had to tend to that really needed my time and attention. And now I'm playing catch up. But... At the same time, first and foremost, is always getting my space in order. When you spend a lot of time in bed, you get to see all of the little things that you need to do as soon as you feel better. But we do these things because order and organization and cleanliness, to me, are the ultimate luxuries. I live my best soft girl life when there is no clutter around and when there is a place for everything and everything has a place. And I notice these things when I am forced to be still and to just observe. You realize that things get out of control pretty quickly. And you also notice or see where you can elevate things a little bit, where you can bring your own personal touches into your space, where you can actually pay attention to a lot of details. Now, after Christmas, I was hoping for a real winter. I <laughs> still somewhere in the back of my mind, even though now we are literally at the vernal equinox and it is time for spring, which I am ready for. I was still hoping up until this moment for a little bit of snow, but that didn't happen and that's fine. Usually during winter time, I get really motivated to really organize my space. And because we didn't have a real winter, I just was not really motivated to do it. And then being sick at the beginning of the year, I have been playing catch up ever since with just things around the house, with appointments that you have to have and um, getting ready for the new house, so many moving parts, you know, in my life. And also just trying to take better care of myself. I have struggled. And so these few days really gave me some clarity. I also get a lot of clarity around my birthday. I always like to joke that my year starts on my birthday, which is in about a week. And, um, so for me, it's almost as if like the skies have opened up, everything has cleared out, and the brain fog is gone. So I have now been able to really look at my space objectively. I'm not adding any more furniture. I did add a couple of just small touches, but I'm not adding any more furniture or doing any more design to the space necessarily, but I still want the space to work well for me um, for the next couple months before it's time to move. 
And whatever systems that I put in place here, I want to take them to the new house. Obviously, I will have to modify for space and different configurations because obviously my space there is going to be very different than my space here. But I want to be able to seamlessly move things from one space to another, especially because I definitely have things in storage that will need to fit in the space as well. We will be moving in essentially two houses into one if you think about it, because we have all of our things in storage and then we have the home that we've created here for the last few months. It's a lot to think about. And I don't think oftentimes we realize just how big an undertaking moving is and moving into a new space. Um, And while I am moving into a larger space, I definitely want to make it more minimal. I do not want a lot of things around. I do not want a lot of clutter. I only want things around that are beautiful and useful and that I love. Now, when it comes to my art supplies, when it comes to craft supplies or um, other miscellaneous things like stationery and paper things, I love those things. I probably will have a lot of those things. But I do believe that there is a way to have those things and still organize them. I don't want to spend my whole life organizing because I want to enjoy the life that I have. But I think if you take just a little bit of time up front and really organize your space, like really be brutal when it's time to get rid of things that you're not using or you don't love anymore or that you just don't need. I think when we take the time to really do that process up front. The rewards are so valuable in the end. I mean, even just cleaning my space, like putting papers where they go and like putting papers where they're supposed to go and hanging things up and doing just small things that make life easier. Even just doing that in this little short amount of time in this one room has made a world of difference. I even feel better because my space is better. And in this instance, I added really nothing new. I just reset my space. And sometimes that's something that we just need to do. love you and leave you be sure to subscribe and comment and like this video and do all of the things i will leave you with my fresh new room and i will see you in the next video